Well, I wanted to talk about our banana republic, or maybe some people don't think so, but you know, what makes a country a banana republic? It is when one side dominates everyone. When um, you can have a state, say like Wisconsin, turn in more votes than they have registered voters. And that doesn't make it a banana republic. That means you got criminals in your country. Well, every country's got criminals in their country. <clears throat> so, when something like that happens, or, say like the state of Pennsylvania, going to accept ballots that come in postmark after the election, or with no postmark at all and not check the signatures to see if they're legal and valid so anybody could be filling them out and just sending them in and they didn't go through their legislature to change these rules which is unconstitutional either either you have a constitution and it means something or uh, or why the hell obey any law? I mean, I'm sure we can all find laws that we don't like and don't obey them. You'll go to jail. But the ruling class, on the Democrat side, by the way, I am a, a partisan, but no one can deny that. You know, Hillary deletes 33,000 emails. Each one is a felony. And many people have went to prison for doing exactly what she done on a very small scale. Nothing's done. Nothing at all. So you ask all these things that are going on now and all the voter fraud that's going on. Why are they doing it? They're doing it because they can get away with it. Because the FBI is corrupt. They're not going to do nothing about it. And I have come to the conclusion that the Attorney General is a crook. I thought maybe he was a good guy. But uh, who's went to jail since he came in? You know... Clapper, Comey, all them yahoos under the Russian collusion stood up before Congress and have been caught red-handed in lies. Not a one of them have been charged with nothing because they own this country. Now, you can say they don't you can say we're not a banana republic, but the rule of law is what separates you from that. And uh, we definitely don't live by the rule of law no more. Not if you're a Democrat, you're untouchable. And all I can give you is the evidence. You know, you can deny it pretend like it's not true but I tell you what you can do you can do a little research for yourself go to YouTube and look at um, Brennan's testimony before Congress Clapper's testimony before Congress I mean it, <laughs> it's as clear as it can be they were caught red handed lying what's going to be done nothing Look at Comey's, tells you even more. When he was asked about Hillary Clinton's emails, I'm not going to tell you how to search it. Comey testifies about Hillary's emails. I mean, you can find it. it. 
if you're very interested, you'll find it. But when he was testifying, he was asked, is that illegal to delete those? Yes, it is. Is it a crime? Yes, it is. How come she didn't get charged? Well, he dances around that, you know, typical lawyer speak. He answers without answering. And he got away with doing that. That's what they do. They don't have to answer. They're above the law. But then he was asked, so what if somebody else, it's okay to delete government documents? No. What would happen? You'd be in trouble. That tells you all you need to know. You'd be in trouble. She's not in trouble. Why? Because she rules this country. She owns this country. She's a Democrat. She's untouchable. And anytime you have one class that can do whatever they want and the others can't, it's like being a member of the Communist Party in the old USSR. If they, you were a high official, they would pull over and grab girls off the street, rape them, kill them, do anything they wanted. They were untouchable. It went on for years and years. Why? Well, because they could get away with it. And, you know, the nature of man is evil. And if he's got all the power in the world, he will be evil. It'll corrupt him completely. Knowing that he can't be in, put in jail, be in trouble for anything, it will make a man go crazy. Well, women are the same way. Hillary Clinton's good proof of that. But yeah, we have clearly became a banana republic now. Whether you like that or not, I don't like it. It is the way it is, you know. Are they going to do anything about all this corruption, all this voter fraud? I mean, come on. 30 million people a day visit Walmart, but you can't go vote in person. You got to have your head buried in your ass pretty deep to believe that. You know why that was. Makes voter fraud so much easier. So now we got a guy who can't can't speak without saying something crazy. You know, he's in Wisconsin today. Well, no, Joe, you're in Pennsylvania. I mean, this guy can't dress himself. He's 78 years old and failing quick. He would be 82 years old when he finished his first term. Does anybody seriously think this guy's going to run the country? No, he's going to come in and in January, before the end of January, we're going to shut the country down. And this is all by design by larger players than him they just tell him hey you're playing this role this is your last role here and we'll keep that boy years out of prison for all his crooked shit you watch and see he won't go to jail he won't go to jail for selling us out to the communist Chinese It's getting us ready for the grand reset here next June. And like I say, you don't have to believe that. You can say it's a conspiracy. But I'm pretty patient. I would like to say I would laugh last, but it ain't no laughing matter. But it's going to happen. It's a sad thing, man, to watch your country be destroyed. <laughs>